Hey YouTube, back today with another video. Got a lot of stuff to cover here real quick, so I'll try to make it fast. Uh, didn't do a lot of videos over the holidays, so I need to catch up a little bit, but uh, I just wanted to tell Alan Neal, thank you. Sent me a Christmas card. Scott family, but uh, he threw in a couple other cards. didn't have is uh, Vince Coleman's Opeachy rookie. I had his tops, but I didn't have his Opeachy. I love Vince Coleman. And in the box bottom, uh, Vince Coleman Opeachy, which is pretty cool. So, Alan, thank you, sir. Uh, I did get another package sent, or not a package, a few cards sent out to you, Alan, so you should be getting them this week if you haven't already. And then uh, next, uh, I was watching... Uh, a channel of vintage card curator and he was uh, shooting a video of some cards that he had uh, that he had graded uh, from when they were his childhood cards and he had them graded and he uh, he had a Miguel Fuentes and I told him I'd been actually uh, been looking at that card for a while and uh, so he had an extra one and he sent it to me and I really appreciate it it's in real good shape uh, but he is actually telling the story uh, that he was the last pitcher to uh, throw a pitch for the Seattle Pilots, and then he was uh, out relieving himself outside of a bar, and he was uh, shot and killed. So he told that story, and I, I don't know if everybody knew that, but I actually knew that. <laughs> so uh, I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, So uh, check out his channel, Vintage Card Curator. His name's Keith. Super nice guy. I love his videos. Kind of new. And then next thing here is... Uh, Jonathan's contest. I won uh, first place in his contest, so he sent me a nice card, Christmas card with it. Uh, Gary Bing Scott, may the good Lord fulfill his promise to you. Have a blessed Christmas and positive New Year. Congrats on winning first. Your YouTube brother, Cuban collector Jonathan. Jonathan, that's awesome, partner. Uh, he's doing, looks like my winning card, which uh, this one here. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, and I know Jonathan's a huge Jose Fernandez uh, fan and collector. So for him to give this card away, that really means a lot. So I really appreciate that. Stand here. I don't have a Jose Fernandez. I have his rookie cards, but I don't have his uh, autograph. So that is uh, something that will stay in the collection forever. And then he also uh, knows I'm a White Sox guy, so he threw in some uh, White Sox. Uh, and he knows the Nationals are my second team, so he threw in some of those too. So, but Frank Thomas, uh, Archives. Uh, Lucas Giolito, Archives. Victor Robles, Rookie, Archives. And then a couple of Donruss uh, this year, uh, Bryce Harper. And Abasol Garcia. So, Jonathan, thank you, sir. Cats over there sneezing. And then, uh, just uh, had a couple Tops Now orders come in. Uh, one I was kind of disappointed in, but uh, this one here come in yesterday, and this was the uh, 1954 Throwback Thursday set. Pretty cool set. Uh, AJ Minter is in that set. Uh, Jack Flaherty in that set. Uh, Ryan Yarborough, Tampa Bay. Shout out to the MPMC Fox Boys. And then uh, probably the bigger ones uh, Walker Bueller, Rookie Card, Derek Rodriguez. Love that card. And then, of course, Shohei Otani, but uh, anyway, I picked up uh, three of these sets. Uh, I'm probably going to do a giveaway. I uh, somehow reached 200 subscribers. Don't know how that's possible, but uh, so uh, there's a lot going on right now. So I'll probably wait a little bit, but I'll probably just do a simple contest. So if anybody's interested in uh, one of those sets, I'll get that uh, contest here in a couple weeks. Probably let some things settle down on YouTube but uh, my other tops now order that I snagged 
that I'm kind of disappointed in. This is like the rookie year in review. So, of course, it's all rookie cards, but I uh, should have set this up a little bit before. But, man, some of them are off center. And I don't know in this day and age how that happens, but uh, especially for a, a specialty set, kind of. But uh, here's the Miguel Andahar. It's all center, left to right. Uh, I probably wouldn't care too much, uh, but some of the big boys in here. I was actually kind of lucky that the uh, Glaber, he's off center, a little bit left to right. Really nice cards in the back. Rafael Devers is off center. Uh, Ronald Acuna. Cunha Jr., he's off center. But uh, let me see here. Where it must be in here. Yeah, my Ozzy Albies, he's off center. Uh, Reese Hoskins is off center. David Bodie was off center. I mean, there, it's probably probably 75% of these cards for, uh, for Dugo. Uh, he's off center. But uh, actually, Shohei, he was centered, believe it or not. But uh, but uh, Juan, he was off center. Juan Soto, which really disappointed me. So I don't know. I've never returned anything back. The tops now. I haven't. I bought a few things from them. I haven't really gone crazy with it, but I did buy some stuff. Uh, so I, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna call their customer service line and see what they'll do. I don't know if anybody's ever dealt with that, but a couple other cool cards. They put in a rookie of the year, which this one's cool. And then uh, Ronald Acuna Jr., which I think this card is horrible. Poor selection there. Uh, they did throw in, uh, you get a number card and then a colored parallel. My colored parallel was a White Sox, but he's off center, a little bit left or right, but it's uh, Nicky Delmonico. And then I did get uh, Victor Arano, number 21 of 25 for the Philly boys. And then my autograph, not quite as hot as Matt Passion for Cards does. He's on a big hot streak on his autos, but uh, I got a Garrett Cooper uh, for the Miami Marlins, which he's a he's an all right player. So uh, I guess it could have been could have been worse, but anyway. So uh, if anybody's ever dealt with tops now and any returns, uh, comment below. Uh, but. All right, I'm getting a little long here, so I'll wrap it up. I got a few contests I need to get done. I need to get Mike O's contest done. Uh, Wild Bill, Hall of Fame collector, I need to get his done. Dustin and Blake, they're doing their Mount Rushmore. I need to get that one done, so I'll probably get a couple more videos up this week. All right, everybody have a good rest of your day, and we'll talk to you later.